Uh, I would describe my character as a type of person that irons their t-shirts and overshares. Uh, she's a single mom with a teenager, um, divorced, struggles to have a meaningful relationship with her son, thinks she wants something different than he can offer. I think she's extremely ambitious, she's dedicated at her job, she's relentless, um, she's definitely like type A. Her attention to detail is fantastic. Uh, there's lots of jokes about her pantsuits. I don't think they're that bad. Although when I was doing ADR, I was like, maybe they're not as hot as I think. I think and she's a wonderful character to be able to like, play and explore. And I think for me, the greatest gift of Sam is playing such a strong woman that is allowed to be so vulnerable. And I think being allowed to be able to bring that to the floor is something that I find incredibly exciting. I think we're always, as people sometimes told at work, like keep work separate, there's your work life and your personal life and make sure there's no crossover. And I think there's a lot of judgment for crying at work or talking about how you feel at work. And I love how this character is written and that crossover humanity happens on the floor of her job. All those questions that you're just asking me now, which is, why this story? What was my first reaction to the script? You know, what it's about. For me, the chance to work with Amy Cameron, Tassie Cameron, Sherry White, and Adrian Moore, it, would, it was the main reason that I wanted to be part of this project. So my initial reaction to the script or to the opportunity to work with them was always like one of great joy and felt so grateful that I was asked to do this project. I really respect how this production is handling it because I was a little bit nervous to come to work, but with the cases on the rise in the city, it ended up being one of the Amy and Tessie and Sherry and Wanda have done such an incredible job uh, at protecting cast and crew that I ended up feeling safer coming to work than I was like in the streets of Toronto to deal with. And now it becomes, I wouldn't say normal, but there's been a few times that they're like action and then you <laughs> walk on set doing your lines, but you're like this, but you still have your mask on. You're like, I'm ready, I'm a cop, let's go. And they're like, mask, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's funny how quickly <clears throat> you transition into something that seems so absurd at first becomes really normal. TV is such a collaborative process. And one of the biggest joys of coming to work is the crew. And it still is. But it was hard for me to get used to not being able to like give them a hug or going up and talking to them or hanging. Like I found a way because I talk a lot and to you know to create friendships and hang out. But I found that layer really really difficult. Uh, I can't say enough about how wonderful Adrian is. I mean, I was such a big fan before I got to work with her. I was freaking out when she was cast. I was like losing my mind. I was like this job really couldn't get any better. And then when I met her, her uh, generosity of spirit is just something else. It's out of this world. Adrienne is probably, if not the most, one of the most generous actors I've ever worked with. She's always got you. She's absolutely incredible, so committed. And we have an absolute laugh. I hope we don't slow production down a lot. Sometimes I'm like, are we slowing things down? But then I'm like, mm, it's all right. I really wanted a beige pantsuit. Nicole uh, Manick is our costume designer and she's incredible. And they, Sherry and Tassie and Amy picked out this, it was like a beige sort of suit for episode one, which I love because I think the backstory to it, and you'll have to double check this, was the fact that Sam is obsessed with Obama and Terry Fox, even though we haven't brought that up yet. But in my mind, I'm like obsessed with Terry Fox. So I wanted that to be my favorite suit. And I was like, this is definitely my favorite suit. And it was because it was the pilot, so it was so exciting. But my real favorite suit where I got a lot of compliments on, thank you, was this pale blue corduroy suit in episode two. It looked, yeah, you know what, no matter what anybody says, I know that one was hot. That one was really, really good. It's like a weird blue, I can't, it's almost like this blue. Yeah, here, it's almost like this blue. It's like this, oh my God, this is my suit. It's this blue with this orange. This is my one for episode nine. Picture that on me. This was my second favorite suit as well. This one too. I know, I have an idea. Do you want me to physicalize what I think the show is about? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to physicalize to you what I think the show is about. I love you so much.
Like, that's how I feel. Is that clear? Like, I feel like that is more honest than me going, oh, this show is the best thing that ever happened to me. You can say that as well, I guess. Ugh. I feel like this is, I feel like this EPK is like therapy. <laughs> <laughs>